Hello boys and girls, I'm Samir. It's your boy Vincent, the Unbox King slash genius. I'm a freelance uh, content creator, a story writer and full-time YouTuber and also kind of a, a smartphone enthusiast. Today I'm talking about the Xiaomi Redmi Note 7. All right, cool. Let's dive into it, shall we? I have the Redmi Note 7. What's in it? Obviously the phone, a cover, some literature for when you're on the toilet, a charger and a charging cable. Yes, and of course it's in blue again. I'm a pretty big fan of the, the color blue. First off, fingerprint reader. I'm pretty damn impressed with the speed of this fingerprint reader. It's uh, in the back, by the way. Just listen to it. <laughs> it's already a lot. It's instant. Let's do it again. Ah! It opens immediately. It's so fast. By far the fastest fingerprint sensor I've ever used. It comes equipped with face recognition, so if you're a fan of that, you can still do it. Whatever. The fingerprint sensor isn't the only thing that is blazing fast. The interface, it's smooth. There is no delay when I open an app or when I open settings. I think I'm gonna call this phone the Flash. The dual camera in the back, it sticks out a little bit. I'm not really a big fan because what happens when you have a stick out camera like that? It wobbles a little bit, but I think I might have found the reason why Xiaomi was so friendly to add a back cover. Well played, Xiaomi, well played. And the wobble's gone. Eh, would you look at that? Perfect. I'm gonna leave it on. It doesn't look too bad either. An extra layer of protection, but it should be more than enough protection because it comes with Gorilla Glass 5 in the front and the back, so sturdy as hell. I remember going to the launch event in Amsterdam a few months ago and they showcased a video about them crushing walnuts with the phone, like uh, putting a hammer on it and it would, it would be left unscathed. Which is a good thing because I tend to drop my phone quite a lot. So it would be still as clean as before. That's pretty amazing. How about we test that out today, huh? Should we, should we do it? <laughs> I shouldn't, that might not be a good idea. Because I gotta stay connected online, I gotta make sure I, uh, I upload a lot of pictures, a lot of videos, and the quality has to be top notch for me. It has a front facing and two back cameras. The front camera gives you 13 megapixels of uh, image quality, and the back gives you a dual camera of uh, the one is uh, five megapixels and the other one is 48 megapixels. 48 for a non-flagship phone, mind you. That is pretty impressive. The camera, let's try out the selfie camera real quick. Not because I'm vain. Smile, okay. The colors are really bright. They're not oversaturated, they're not too dark. Am I pretty, guys? Am I pretty? Yeah? Okay, cool. <laughs> Got me scared there for a second. Uh, there is less of a blur when you take pictures because nowadays, especially the flagship uh, phones, they add a ton of uh, unnecessary blur. It's pretty exaggerated. And this, it's not an exaggeration. And I always appreciate that. And you can also you know, stream videos in HD, of course. Uh, let's check out YouTube. And what better way to test YouTube with one of my videos? Scherven op de grond. Toevallig ook in een recht kleintje. Vanaf nu gaat het allemaal kunnen opzetten. What can I say? Decent quality. It looks good. The camera does not record in 4K. It records at a max of 1080p. It's HD, which is more than decent for the average user. But this might be an inside tip. There are apps out there that allow you to uh, record in 4K though. Because there's a processor in here, the Snapdragon 660, it should be more than capable of filming in 4K. I'm full of tips and uh, knowledge. Another thing that I noticed is that the audio quality of the speakers is quite okay. Uh, there is no phone out there that has like studio quality audio, but there are phones that have terrible audio quality that really makes my ears bleed. And this phone, the basses are good, the high pitches aren't like too high. If you watch a lot of videos online, then you realize that uh, your phone battery gets drained pretty damn fast. What if I tell you this phone has a flagship battery? This phone has a 4000 milliamp hour battery in it. Which means that this phone can last a day, a day and a half. That is flagship material. Other brands with flagship phones are like, they, they can't do that. And that's pretty significant for a phone that is not a flagship phone, mind you. Yeah. What is a flagship phone exactly? Is the leader of all the boats, of all the vessels behind it, the best weaponry, the best defense system. That's basically a big analogy in the smartphone industry. 
because a uh, flagship there is like a phone uh, with uh, the best spec, best camera, best battery, best everything. This isn't one, but it has the specs to make it one. And that's very disruptive for a lot of the flagship phones out there. Why do I even need a high-end phone when I can get this phone with all the features for a fraction of the price? When I went to the launch event, everyone in the crowd, as soon as they, uh, they heard about the battery and the, the, the camera specs, you heard a big gasp, like, <gasps> it was pretty magical, you should have been there. So, for a, a phone uh, with 64 gigabytes of storage, 4 gigabytes of RAM with a Snapdragon 660 processor, a dual camera in the back, 5 megapixels, 48 megapixels, uh, and uh, 30 megapixels in the front camera, and a 4000 milliamp hour battery, that's pretty amazing. The specs in this phone makes it look like a high-end phone. I gotta give it to Xiaomi, I don't know what you're doing, but it seems to be working. For 219 euros.99, this phone is a bargain. But if you don't want to spend any money on a smartphone, I've got some good news for you. You can win this phone. As of today, just tune in to our Instagram page and there will be all the deeds on how to win this phone. So, that pretty much sums up all the testing that I've been doing. If you want something specific for me to test it out, maybe to smash it with something or whatever, let me know in the comments or if you want me to review a certain phone that you really like or that you really want to buy and you want my opinion about it or Vincent's, let me know in the comments and uh, I'll look into it. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the Orange channel. Deal? Thank you.